Welcome to the Zen Zone 5 a.m. I'm wide awake. I've been wide awake since 3 a.m. I like to go to bed early and wake up. I don't really have a uh, 9 to 5 type of job. I can wake up and whenever I want, do whatever I want. So pretty cool life. What we want to do today, we want to think deeply about which cruiser wheel we want. Eventually, you know, if I'm going on a long range road, the master is not enough range. That's my favorite UC, for those that don't know, is the Bigode Master. That's one I'm riding the most. I also have the EX, which I ride from time to time. I like the speakers on it. And also I have the Tesla, which I use often. All my wheels, the Master has almost 2,000 miles on it. The EX has like three or 4,000 miles on it. And my Tesla has 1,000 miles on it. I ride all my UCs. The S18 had 1,000 miles on it. V11, over 1,000 miles on it. Sherman, 5,000 miles. Nikola, 5,000 miles on the 84 volt. I almost have... 30,000 miles, maybe 20 to 30,000 miles <laughs> on all my UCs. I love the ride. Um, I never, I've never had a long range cruiser. If I get a long range cruiser, it's going to be like, we're, we're going to need an EUC that's so reliable that I can, I can put 20 to a hundred thousand miles on it. Cause I'll ride the thing like crazy. So for me, it's boiling down to two EUCs, the V13 and the Bigode X30 which is what we're looking at right here. We're going to look at whatever I can find on Facebook, different footage, riding footage. And we're going to try to like look at specs and really, really determine which EUC I should put my deposit on or that I I'm probably just going to buy outright. Might have to sell some stuff. All right, let's look at some riding footage of this uh, X30. Okay, pedals look a lot lower than the V13, which I like. I actually don't like the look of the wheel. It looks, it looks, it's funny that it looks so much different than the Master. It, I love that they have the street tire on. This tire looks like an awesome tire. I really like to zoom in on it. I do not know which tire that is, but that looks like the awesome street tire like this looks like an euc tire this is what the v13 should have a when i see a knobby tire on a uc like the v13 i'm like these guys don't know ucs <laughs> they're i i watched the emotion guys riding the v13 with this knobby tire and i'm like oh my gosh if they just put a street tire on it they would have so much more fun and it would be way better for them do not know what this obsession with the knobby tire is think Thankfully, Bigode listens to us. Bigode actually listens. Look at this tire. I feel like this is going to be the ultimate tire for a big type of cruising EUC. So right off the bat, if I did buy the V13, I'm going to have to do a tire change. I am not using that stock tire. It looks awful. And I'll show you some footage too where why I think that. And I have showed footage in the past. But I am liking the... I don't like the look of this wheel. But I don't really care about look so much. I care about performance. Because like you can't really... People, when they're looking at you, you're driving so fast, you know, they don't really see you. But as far as content creation goes, it looks good from the front. I don't know. There's something. No, I like that. Okay, I like that angle. That was a good angle. I don't really like. I don't know. It's not that bad of looking of a UC. Maybe I'm being a little too harsh. I'm, it's starting to grow on me. Maybe it's the colors. The purple's kind of throwing me off. But uh, I think I would like. Man, the pads are interesting looking. Wow, I, wow, I really, it's always like, this This rider is a really good rider, um, but you know, I always like, like to see myself on it, <laughs> go really fast, but this is, uh, this is really good footage, we get to see this wheel in action, it looks powerful, but you can't, what we need to see when we see riding footage is what sets this wheel apart from your other wheels, what makes this different than the Master, it, it has a C40, so it, like, I want to see it head to head with the master. I want to see it head to head with the, what, what is it? The master X and the master pro. I want to see like comparison footage because it's, wow, he's passing motorbike pretty easily. Wow. This is, this is going to be a super cruiser wheel. I think, whew, man, I really am enjoying everything I'm seeing here, except the only thing I'm not enjoying the aesthetic a little bit. I do like the aesthetic of the V13 a little bit, but the lower pedals, my goodness, when we look at the V13, I wish we could measure if anybody knows the measurements of the pedal height that would be helpful because and how much you can adjust the v13 pedals to be lower like i would like them about this low this looks like the perfect level this looks lower than the master master's a little too high but 
The master is awful. Also, more of an off-road EUC. This will not be an off-road EUC. The V13 will not be an off-road EUC. Does not need a Navi tire. I don't understand. All right, so that's all the X30 footage that there is right now. One street riding cruising video. I like it as a street cruiser. I think it's going to be superior to the V13 stock because simply because of the tire and the pedal height. You don't need to be 10 feet up in the air when you're cruising on the streets. The idea of high pedal height is for off-roading. So you're not clipping uh, your pedals on stuff, right? On the street, there's not. it's not so much of an issue. You don't need to be 10 feet up in the air. All right, let's look at this uh, stair footage. So we got a V11 here on the top and a V13 here on the bottom. I wish we watched this in slow-mo. Look how high up. The suspension looks pretty good. The suspension looks better on the V13, even, even though it's heavier. See right here? See how this is like a chunky turn, a dippy turn? That's what I think that's what it would be called, a dippy turn. Look how dippy it is. Look how awkward this is to turn compared to the V11. This is still pretty dippy too, but not even like, like this. If you don't have good control, it's going to top over. All right, so that was pretty cool. Stair foot. All right, we're getting lots of V13. I love that emotion is testing this wheel so hard. <laughs> Woo, man, you can... The torque, oh man, we gotta watch this in slow mo. Is there a slow mo option here? <gasps> yes. Oh, you know, without the knobby tire, that might be easier. <laughs> that is some power. That is some power. One, one, one more time. Let's turn off this. It sounds slow. Here we go. Oh, I love how durable it is too. Hmm. Hmm. I love the look. Love the power. Love the durability. Love the suspension. All right. We have some braking footage. This is good. I love this. Emotion. Yes. Thank you for all the tests. Look at that. I love this. You will not be able to do this on the X30. You could probably do it on the Sherman S. But man, it being so tall up, this is a really good braking technique too. I like this. The motion riders are getting better. This is good. And they got a lot of new riders. Wow, that is nice bra braking technique. Very extreme braking technique. So if you're going really fast with this, you're going to need to learn this sort of technique. If there's a car that pulls out in front of you, you're going to need to know this technique. So it's a more of an athletic te uh, technique. So if you're maybe an unathletic type of person, this is going to be a lot harder of technique, but you're going to need to learn to master this sort of technique on a bigger wheel with the big X30. There's no handles to do this. So you're going to have to like, just lean back and you're not going to have that counter, that counter pull onto the handle. I really do think almost every EUC should have the handles by now. It's been proven that they're super useful. The Sherman has, and there's not like no reason that why can't they put them on the X30? Very nice, very nice. See how it's kind of, oh, oh, it's, it's pretty good turning. That wasn't too top heavy of turning. Is is that a snobby tire still? Very good riding. This guy's got some skills. So, and it'll be even better with a street tire. I think I'm leaning towards the V13, guys. It's, man, I really want to see him head to head. Can I get it? Can you guys, can we get a V13 to me and uh, X30? <laughs> and I'll do head to head. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the specs. This is from Alien Rides website. I'm an affiliate with Alien Rides. If you'd like to use the affiliate link below, super appreciate it. That's why one reason I make these videos. One, to get you guys information. Two, to hopefully accumulate some affiliate sales so I can buy my next wheel. We have the B-Goad X30. I don't know why I prefer it over the B-Goad Master Pro. I don't need a 4,800 watt battery. I would be happy with a 3,600 watt battery. This is gonna be lighter, but less range. So if you want a heavier, more, if you want the most range out of any EUC ever made, the Bigode Master. But for me, I'm, this is about me, what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the Bigode EX30 and the V13. 
So let's take a look at the specs. Description, Bigode's next suspension wheel is almost here. Wow. The X30, anticipated around February 2023, all right? So that is, I guess, a uh, downside compared to the V13. I think the V13 is going to get here in December, but we'll check. Reserve your spot in line for the X30 today. Ever breaking limits, Bigot has made the most powerful EUC in the world. The EX30 packs an incredible 134 volts, 360 watt hour battery capacity, refined suspension, a refined chassis with suspension used for the T4 Master and Master Pro, and more has given Bigot the edge when it comes to suspension wheels. This is a pre order deposit, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if you, oh, it's, oh, it might actually be 3,800. Okay, before it said 3,600, but. 3,800 seems like a reasonable price. Is that it for the specs? Uh, we don't really have any specs. Other than that, that's what we got. All right, so I guess what we do know is that it's a C40. I don't see that on here, but it's a C40 motor, which is bigger than the Bigode Masters uh, motor. So it has the biggest, most powerful motor, 134 volts, 306 watt battery. Sounds pretty amazing. Let's look at the V13. Posit page here. This does arrive in December. So if, you, if, you're, if you're just wanting the, whatever's coming, I want a cruiser. The soonest I can get the biggest, baddest cruiser, it looks like the Emotion V13 will be here the soonest. The soonest, all right, what do we, oh, we got actual specs on this one, okay. So this has a 3,2400 watt battery, therefore the EX wins that. This is 126 volts, so the EX30 wins there. Lighting, 18 watt headlight. I don't know about the EX's headlight, but I think Emotion has always made better headlights than Bigode. So that's one point for, uh, one point for the V13, two points for the Bigode EX. Motor power, 4,500 watts, 10,000 watt peak. I think the motors are very similar, if not the same. So we'll say it's a tie there for now until we figure out for sure. Uh, net weight, 110 pounds. This is, if I'm not mistaken, I saw that the weight was, I think, 43 uh, kg. So that's like 97 pounds. So the EX30 is actually, you know, 13 pounds lighter than the V13. So if you want, if you don't want an EUC, over 100 pounds, the EX30 would be the way to go. No late, no load speed. We got the weight on this. I think the EX30 will be faster, but I'm not sure. Rim size 17, tire size okay. Let's read what we have here. Okay, so the price is the early bird price is four thousand dollars. So this is even more expensive than the EX30 at the early bird price, and it's going to go up even more after that. So that's another win for the EX30. It's better, more affordable. Suspension, go over any bump. All right, combined. I feel like the suspensions are going to be pretty similar. And on a street cruiser, other than stairs, I mean, you do you want to take a $4,000 street cruiser down the stairs? It just doesn't seem like what it's made for. But knowing that it can do that is great. I think both of them will be just fine in that situation. Redesigned electronics with a brand new design motor. The V13 has an incredible free spin. Yep. The new main board, but see, this one's capped. We know this one's capped at 55 miles an hour. So it's kind of a win for the EX30. It'll be able to go faster and it's not capped. Easily handle wet conditions. Both the motor and battery packs are IPX6 rated, allowing you to ride in wet conditions without worry. So I think that's a win for the V13. All right, guys, that's it for the specs. It's really close on the specs. I think the Emotion V13 will overall be a better package but there are some kind of deal breakers that if you don't like those super high pedals, which can be a huge turnoff, um, you want the X30. If you want more power, more speed, more range, you probably want the X30. If you like those handlebars, if you like the look of the V13, go with the V13. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.